Hi there guys, this is Chris Coney speaking, and I want to talk to you about how to support your favorite content creators on DTube. So DTube, if you don't know, it's decentralized YouTube. It's just d.tube. That is the website address. Now in the latest version of DTube, which was announced in this Steemit post, DTube is now up to version 0.4. And one of the features that was included was the integration of web torrents as a way to support the streaming of videos. So you see under this heading that says, how can I help DTube and seed the video files? Well, point three, it says, this is the Hyman Danger guy, who's the creator of DTube. He says, I have personally modified this torrent client. So there's this thing you can install on your Windows computer called WebTorrent. And this is a standalone application that powers the WebTorrent system. However, this can be used to back up the file hosting for DTube. So back to DTube. What you need to do if you want to support a content creator, or if you are a content creator, like I am, and you want to actually host your own videos for DTube, here's how to go about it. You need to install that special modified version of the WebTorrent client. So it's this specific link. The guy has modified the WebTorrent client so that it links into the Steam blockchain. So what you'd do is, let me bring it up actually, I've got the WebTorrent program open here. Once you've got it installed, and this is the modified version, if you go to Edit Preferences, there's an extra bit that isn't in the default WebTorrent client if you download it directly from the WebTorrent developers. This section called Blockchain isn't in there. So that's how you know it's the modified version. So I've ticked this box that says Automatically Download and seed videos from the Steam blockchain. And then you drag this thing up and down, depending on how much of your hard drive space and how much of your internet connection bandwidth you want to allocate to hosting files. Then underneath that, this is where, if you're a content creator, you would put your Steam or your DTube username. And if you wanna support other content creators, you would put them here. As you can see in my case, and it says to separate the author's names by commas. Marketing Monk is in there, which is my Steam username. Then I've put comma dollar vigilante. So I'm helping Jeff seed his video files. And then I'm also now seeding box mining. And again, separated by commas. So what will happen is, now I've done that, if I skip back to the main screen here, each of these rows is a video file that I am seeding. And the way this works is that the more people seed the video, the more possible sources there are for the stream, the smoother it will be for the viewer, and the less burden there is on any given host. Now, in the case of this episode of the Cryptoverse at the top here, and this one, I'm the only host that is online that has those videos. So if someone watches one of those videos right now, I will be hosting it 100% to them. If you look further down, this is one of Jeff Berwick's Dollar Vigilante blogs. You'll see it says two peers. That means there are two people hosting the video and that are online right now. So if someone were to watch that video on DTube, it would stream it equally from me and from whoever else is hosting it. And the whole idea is that over time, it propagates and gets copied onto maybe dozens and dozens of other people's computers. And then we all host the files as kind of a swarm. Now, if you've done that thing in um, the preferences where you've ticked this box about automatically downloading and seeding the videos, and then you've put the names of the authors you want to support, that's pretty much it. If you then just minimize this into your system tray, you'll hear a little beep every now and again, and a new torrent or a new video will appear at the very top of the list, and then it will download a copy so that you can begin mirroring the file for whoever it is. So now I'm going to minimize this. If you want to do this manually, you keep your WebTorrent client open and then go back to DTube. So let's say you just wanted to seed one random video. Let's say um, these are a bunch of new or hot videos that are in my feed right now. No idea what all this stuff is. So this Al Pacino clip, say, if I click on this, it will load it up. Let me just pause it. In this three dot menu, you'll see there is re-steam and then download from magnet. So if you 
bring, uh, bring down this three dot menu, hover over where it says download from magnet. And then on Google Chrome, you right click and click copy link address. Then once you've done that, go back to the web torrent client, click edit menu, click paste torrent address. And then you'll see this is what will happen automatically as you begin seeding other people's videos. So you know a minute ago when I said I want to seed box mining, when box mining uploads a video to DTube, my web torrent client will detect when Michael uploads a new video and a row like this will appear saying loading torrent and then it will download a copy of it. Then once that bar gets to 100%, then it will look like all these, all these others. Now you actually don't need the entire file. As you can see here, in this case, I've downloaded 84% of the file and down here I've downloaded 74% of the file and that's fine. So I can, I can seed or I can host that part of it. So of course, when the person watching this video gets 84% of the way through the video, of course, I'll no longer be able to feed that stream. It'll have to go over to someone else that has the last part of the file. But I'm still helping out by having some of the file because it reduces the burden on everybody else. Now, sometimes it does hang like this. So it says loading torrent. This may or may not succeed. So it is a bit of hit and miss at the minute. I'm not quite sure why that happens, but um, most of the time it works. Sometimes it hangs for a while, but it doesn't make any difference. I can just minimize that and then let it get on with it. And then if you, you don't actually have to do that manually, it will just automatically see the authors that I have uh, specifically said I want to, to support. So if you would like to support me, then you can go over to DTube, go over to the Marketing Monk channel, grab my username, copy it, and then paste it into the preferences section of your web torrent client. Make sure you've got this box ticked and then drag the little slider up a little bit to make sure that uh, it will actually pick up the files automatically. And also make sure you tick this box, which is to make the, um, oh, it's here, sorry. The web torrent app wants to be your default torrent app. And if it isn't, there'll be a button there that will allow you to do it. So that is pretty much it. That's how to support your favorite content creators on DTube. Or if you are a content creator, that's how to support yourself and uh, create a fail safe in case the IPFS system that is powering DTube doesn't stream the video properly. There is a second way to stream the videos. Alrighty then, guys, that's all for today. So until next time, it's me, Chris Coney, saying bye for now.